Hey everyone, Zala Takora here and today I'm reviewing an interesting adventure horror game called Silvio, which was released last month in June. So without further ado, let's just get straight in and review. The game follows the adventures of Juliet Walters, an audio recordist who uses her skills to listen to the spirits of the dead. She travels to a place called Saginaw, an abandoned family park that's been closed since the 70s, hoping to uncover the mysteries of the place and why it had been abandoned for so long. Using your recording software, you can listen to the whispers of the dead as you piece together the events that lead to the park's closure. Using the auxilograph, you can search out sound waves to hear words in the static of your microphone, unlock combination lockers to get items and keys, and detect black orbs, materialised high spiritual activity that can be fatal to you. Against them, you have a gun, which uses pressurised spray cans to shoot projectiles like nails and bolts to protect yourself. As well as searching for words in the static, you can also have a seance, in which you can ask questions to certain spirits and collect audio files left behind by the mysterious Daniel. Once sounds have been recorded, you can use the recorder to play back the sounds to uncover hidden words and meanings within by speeding up or slowing down the audio. I find this game really unique in its approach and I love the idea behind listening to the spirits. It has that eerie feeling of a slow paced horror rather than a constant jump scare, gore and blood kind of horror. The world is fairly open, allowing you to explore and search for all the audio findings and items as rewards for exploration. It tells you the story piece by piece, slowly answering the puzzling questions of the place which makes you want to learn more. Musically, this game has a haunting soundtrack which fits perfectly into the location as you traverse the dark abandoned park of Saginaw. And you can even drive a car, what more do you want? If I had to find any faults with the game I'd have to say it'd be down to the occasional glitches here and there of the character jumping from one location to the other, the glitching through the ceilings etc. But other than that the game doesn't have too many problems with it as it manages to keep quite a decent flow from uh, being able to move the character around, um, the sensitivity etc and things seem to activate accordingly when you want them to. So there isn't too much problems apart from the occasional glitch. I definitely recommend this game if you enjoy a story driven horror game. It's currently on Steam now for £10 so check it out if you want to. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, if you did like, subscribe, comment etc I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you next time for another review in the future. Take care everybody!